man in his own image? Why did he give us dominion and make us a ruler? Why did he make us a spiritual being? And why are we so valuable to him? Why would God, the creator of everything, do this to us? See, we are not just a collection of atoms to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not just piles of dirt. Amen. That people in this world want us to think. Amen. We have value to the Lord. Amen. Your spirit has value to the Lord. Hallelujah. God loves your spirit. God loves who you are. Amen. You are not just flesh and blood and atoms and molecules. Amen. We're made up of atoms and molecules. Hallelujah. But that's not all we are. We are body, soul, and spirit. Amen. But sometimes it's hard for us as people to understand the tremendous value that God has for us. Why would God love me? Amen. There is not a chocolate cake or a piece of pizza that's safe around me. Amen. Why would he love me? It's hard for us to see. The first thing we need to know about the resurrection is that man was made like God and has tremendous value. Hallelujah. The second thing we need to know about the resurrection is that we were separated from God because of sin. Amen. Adam and God had fellowship. In the garden, amen. God was created, Adam was created to have fellowship with God. God wants fellowship with us, amen. And when sin came into the world, hallelujah, we were separated from God and that fellowship was broken. And God wanted it back, amen. This is why resurrection happened. Because God has been longing for fellowship with his people. Amen. God has been longing to have fellowship with each one of us. Amen. Isaiah 59, 2. It says, your iniquities, which means sin, has separated you from God, and your sin has hidden his face from you. Due to our sins in our life, due to the fall of Adam, amen, and the bloodline that occurred, hallelujah, Sin separated us from God, and God wanted us. He wanted that fellowship with us. God wants that fellowship with us. That's why he made the plan, amen. That's why he made the plan, amen. Romans 3.23 says, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We're separated from God. Man was made by God. He was made in his image. He was made as a spiritual being. He was has infinite value. Amen. God wanted to have spirit to spirit fellowship. Amen. That's why when people die, amen, they go to be with the Father. Jesus says, tonight, we will be in paradise, fellowshipping with the Father. Amen. God wants every one of us to fellowship with him. Amen. <clears throat> so what happened? Hallelujah. God wanted that relationship with his people. But sin had separated us from God. The people began to fill the earth, and they began to become enslaved in Egypt. Hallelujah. But God released the people from Egypt and their enslavement. In Exodus 25, 8, it says, Let them construct a sanctuary for me that I might dwell among them. God wants to dwell among you. That's how much value God has for each one of you. 
And I don't know about you, but when I was a teenager, high school, amen, I wanted to have friends. We didn't call it fellowship, but we wanted to just talk. Hallelujah. We wanted relationships with other people. Amen. And there were some people that accepted us. Hallelujah. And there were some people that didn't accept us. Amen. There were some people that were happy to be our friends. And there were some people that said, just leave me alone. Amen. How many of us say to God, just leave me alone? I don't want fellowship with you. But that's what happens. God is going out. He's seeking us. I've done all this. I've given my own son. Hallelujah. So that we can fellowship together. But you keep walking away from me. Amen. Let me continue. Amen. That I might dwell in fellowship with his people. God wanted this fellowship. But he knew that he was separated by our sins. Amen. And the only thing that cleans sins is shed blood. Amen. Amen. Shed blood of an innocent being. Hallelujah. An innocent being that did not sin. But God wanted fellowship with us. So he created a tabernacle with the Holy of Holies. Amen. Where there would be sacrifice, where blood would be put annually on the mercy seat so he could have fellowship with us. Amen. But still sin separated us from God. It wasn't enough to have the tabernacle. God needed to do more. God needed the fellowship for us. So he had a plan, amen. And his plan was to sacrifice his own son so that he could have fellowship with us. It's not about Easter bunnies, amen. It's about relationship with God on Resurrection Day. That's why everything happened, amen. God said, I want a relationship with my people. They're sinning too much. I can't do the tabernacle anymore. I've got to come up with the ultimate sacrifice so they can fellowship with me. God took his son and sacrificed him. Amen. So he could have a relationship with us. And so it says that in Hebrews, that Christ became our high priest. Forever going before the Lord for our sins. So we can have relationship with him. Amen. <clears throat> That's what happened on Resurrection Day. Yes, it's powerful that he came up from the grave. But what really happened was God wanted a relationship with us. And said, I'm going to give my son. So you can have a relationship with me, amen. That's what it means to me, Resurrection Day. Amen. It doesn't mean bunnies and uh, bunnies and eggs and peeps, hallelujah. And all of those are great, amen. It doesn't mean to be piped up on chocolate, because I'm sure everybody will be. It means relationship with God. That's why God did it. If we never sinned, God would still be in the cool of the garden having relationship with his people, right. caring for us and loving us. But because sin happened, he was separated from us. So my question is, what are you doing with your relationship to God? To God. Is it enough to know that our sins are forgiven? Because that's not what God wanted. Just so you could know your sins are forgiven. He wanted fellowship with you. And what I mean fellowship, amen, everybody thinks in the natural that we're going to somehow, somehow become a priest. 
walk around strange, amen, act odd. That's not what God wants. God wants you to be you because he created you. He wants you to say, God, I need you to help me in this situation. God, I thank you for taking care of me in this situation. God, I love you for all the blessings you put in my life. That's the relationship that the Lord is wanting from his people. Amen. God isn't looking for perfection because if he was looking for, 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 excuse me, for perfection, he would have never sent his son to the cross. He sent his son to the cross because of our imperfection. So when people say, you know, I don't want to be a Christian because, you know, there's too many fun things out there to do. Amen. Because somehow there's this idea that everything that's fun is sin. And everything that's boring is righteous. Amen. Oh. Hallelujah. It's the truth. It is. We're losing our generation of kids because they think righteousness is boring. Amen. But you know what? God brings us into righteousness. He understands that we're not going to be able to do it on our own. Amen. There's no way that you can do it on your own. That's why God sent his son. Amen. But what God wants most of all from you, from me, from everybody, is fellowship with him. Are we even fellowshipping with him? Are we fellowshipping once a week? Hallelujah. Are we truly a new creation? Or is somebody just believing the story, but our lives are just separated from Christ? Amen. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone in Christ, he's a new creation. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Amen. When Christ died... If you have the spirit, amen, that Christ has for you, you are a new creation, amen. So why are we still living with the old things in our life instead of walking in our new life? The life that God sent his son for, amen. Mm. And I don't want this to be a downer message. But what I'm saying is this. God wants fellowship with you because he loves you. That's the true meaning of resurrection day. He did it because that's what he wants from you. Amen. He didn't do it to show his power so he could gloat, say, see, devil, I won. He didn't do it so we could do whatever we want and then just come and repent one day a week. He did it because he wants to know every part of you. He wants to be a part of everything in your life. The good parts and the bad parts. Amen. That's why Resurrection Day is so important to us. Amen. Ephesians 4.24 And put on the new self created by God in true righteousness and holiness. Amen. You cannot walk in righteousness and holiness without God. Amen. If you haven't tried, you can try, and it won't happen. Amen. I tried originally. Hallelujah. It doesn't happen. Amen. But that doesn't mean you don't strive for righteousness or strive for holiness. Because God says each one of us needs to be a living sacrifice. Amen. Sacrificing our carnal desires for the Lord as worship. So we need to sacrifice ourselves. Sometimes you make it. Sometimes you don't. You repent and you go on. But keep that avenue of fellowship and communication with God open. If you've got a problem, bring it to the Lord and see if he's not going to fix it for you. He sent his son so he could have that relationship. Of course he's going to help you, amen? There's been